Good day, friend. This day's discussion is about the good news of judgment, and I entitled this Cross Examination. You know, it, it is explicit in the Bible that there will be the trial of the ages, and that that will be in heaven. And it's also explicit in the Bible that there are books that will be opened up there in heaven. And one of the books that will be opened is actually the book of life and uh, one reference of that can be found in Revelation chapter 20 verse 12 and I'll be reading from the New American Standard Bible so I invite you if you have your Bible with you right now please open it to Revelation chapter 20 verse 12 again I'll be reading from NASB and I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne. And books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged from the things which were written in the books according to their deeds. Now, I invite you to focus your attention with the word deeds here. What are the deeds? What is the deed? that will be subjected to judgment. Alright, so the first question is, what is the book of life? And what's my part with that one? Why is it important to me as well to know what's the book of life? That's in Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 and 2. And I'll be reading from contemporary English version. Again, please follow with me. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, then I saw a new Jerusalem, that holy city coming down from God in heaven. But nothing unclean shall enter it, nor any who practices abomination or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. Take note, my friend, the book of life is the Lamb's. It's owned by the Lamb. And if you search through Revelation, you will soon find out that the Lamb there was the one who was actually born here on earth, lived as a man, died, and was resurrected. And Jesus qualified perfectly. And again, in Daniel 12, 1, in NASB, and there will be a time of distress such as never occurred since there was a nation until that time. And at that time, your people, everyone who is found written in the book, okay, the book in heaven, and I believe this is referring to the book of life there in Revelation, will be rescued. So it's pretty important. It is vital for your name for my name to be there in the book of life simply because I'm assured of my salvation and not only in the future but now if there will be a time of trouble if I'm worried about the daily calamities safety issues etc if my name is there in the book of life then I am absolutely guaranteed of salvation of rescue from God and in Hebrews 12, 23, actually, it uh, emphasizes this point. And this time I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. You have come to the assembly of God's firstborn children, whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God Himself, who is the judge of all people. I believe in the Bible that God is our judge during the final day of judgment. And I also believe, according to this passage, that God's children, all of His children, are actually already there in the book of life. Another follow-up question is, is my name in the book? Is my name written there in heaven? 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. 
I'll be reading from NIV. Okay, I'll give you time to turn your Bible to 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all men to be saved to come to a knowledge of truth. Isn't this good news that it pleases God? He actually predestined you, me, all of his believers to be saved and to come to a knowledge of truth, to know God better, to trust Him more, to have a deeper relationship with Him. That's the cause of our celebration. That's good news. My name, your name, if you believe in Christ, is already in heaven. That's why you should celebrate, you should rejoice, despite of your present situation right now. Perhaps you're suffering illness. Perhaps what, what, one of your loved ones is in the hospital. Perhaps you are in debt. Perhaps you, your, your marriage is, is about to crumble. Perhaps your, your family is being broken. And not many other issues. You know, my friend, that's the reality here on earth. But God gives us the good news that we should rejoice despite of all this um, unwelcome circumstances simply because your name, if you believe in Him 100%, your name is already there in heaven. Now, if, if my name is already there in heaven, is there a possibility for my name to be removed, to be blotted out? Can it be erased? In Psalm 69, 26, in King James Version, it says here, Let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not written with the righteous. In other words, the Bible is also plain and explicitly presenting to us that even though my name is already there, by default, because God envisioned you and me to be there in heaven, by default, Nevertheless, there's still a possibility for my name or your name to be removed from the book in heaven. Even Moses understood that principle. If you, if you turn your Bible to Exodus chapter 32 in 33, But the Lord said to Moses, Whoever has sinned, and not you, I know you by heart, I know you are faithful, not you, whoever has sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. And what is the sin here that would cause your name or my name to be removed from the book there in heaven? What is the reason for removal? In Revelation 13, let's go back to this uh, book of prophecy. Revelation 13, verses 7 and 8 in KJV. Revelation 13, 7 and 8. It was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds, tongues, and nations with the help, of course, of the apostate church. And that was the beast mentioned in Revelation. To make war with God's people. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, shall worship the beast. And in essence, is also worshiping Satan. The dragon, whose names are what? Whose names are not written in the book of the Lamb from the foundation of the world. You know, I've, I've, I've studied this, this passage a bit. And there are two, actually, two suggestions. Were their names not written in the book of the Lamb since the foundation of the world? Or the Lamb, the book of the Lamb, has been there since the foundation of the world. And the context actually favors the latter. However, the point here is that those who totally rebel against God and that sin, how I un understand the Bible, the sin that will cause your name to be removed from the, the book there in heaven is your absolute deliberate conscientious rejection of Jesus Christ 